again only because I haven't decided what I'm gonna do about this light above my head and behind me which is I saw last video was uh, streamed and uh, wasn't a very good look it's uh, pretty fucking hard on the eyes I must say uh, anyhow so I guess I could just go into my office and that would probably solve all the fucking problems because there would be no light behind me Anyhow, fucking Sweetwater catalog came today. I think I might already have this one, but just looking through here, and God, the price of Gibsons are just unbelievable. I mean, you're looking at Les Paul Standard 2018, 34, 3300 bucks. It's like, dude, I could have a custom guitar built to my specs for 3300 bucks. I wouldn't have to deal with fixing it when I got it, you know. And then I saw the PRS, private stock, number 6661, $13,170. That must be, that better be one hell of a guitar. I can't imagine buying a guitar that was not custom built for me personally for $13,000. That's insane. I mean, unless it was like a some kind of collector's item that you know I was gonna be able to flip or something like that or some kind of collector's item that you just couldn't re you know I don't even know I can't even imagine spending that kind of money not on a guitar you know not on any guitar that's not what I want to fucking talk about I've been watching this uh, <clears throat> and I know I've got viewers from other countries here so I gotta do a little bit of explaining before I get too far into it. I've been watching uh, this thing about Waco, Texas. Some of you guys from other countries are like, Wrecker, what the fuck is Waco, Texas? Well, back in the 90s, there was a uh, religious group in Waco, Texas. Uh, long story short, they... Uh, ended up dying in a big massive fire oh shit um and it was uh it was what it was I mean they uh, the media called them a religious cult and this and that and the other which is kind of my whole beef on organized religion because with organized religion there's always a crazy somewhere to be had right or somebody thinks that, and that's what the deal was with this guy, he at some point believed that God was speaking directly to him. And maybe he was. I don't know. But, so they put this movie out, and it's kind of like a, you know, remembering, you know, like a uh, documentation of what happened in Waco. What's interesting about this film is that I've watched several movie like about Waco you know and every single one of the films that I've watched that were kind of a documentation of what happened in Waco Texas they had the people that were in the religious cult like barricaded in the place and fucking shooting at the ATF in this movie no and the reason being is because everything that happens here in the United States, be it a religious cult, a school shooting, a mass shooting in Las Vegas, uh, you know, anything the FBI gets involved in ends up classified documents. All of them. 
Okay, that's why we our former president John Kennedy from the 1960s who was assassinated. That's how why there's so many fucking conspiracy theories out there about his assassination because after it was all said and done, there was like thousands of documents that were considered classified up until I think the last set of documents comes out sometime in the 2020s, like somewhere between 2025 and 2030, something like that seems to ring a bell. But that's why that is such a fucking conspiracy theory for people, because there's so much classified information that we're not allowed to read or see. So in the instance of Waco, that happened, I think, in like maybe 1992 or 1993, somewhere in that general vicinity. Uh, those documents have now, a lot of them have become declassified. So somebody rehashed the movie to things that actually happened. Now, I'm not saying everything in the movie is true. But what I am saying is us, the American public, we were told that this religious cult was barricaded in there with automatic weapons and that as soon as the ATF came to do whatever they were doing, they were ser serving a search warrant, I think, uh, this religious cult fired on them. And then there was, there was all kinds of reports in the media, and I think even back then, maybe the ATF admitted that they, that was actually the opposite, that the ATF fired first. Don't remember. But the details of that whole event were always nutcase, religious, fanatics, fucking gone crazy. The American, the FBI, and the ATF, we took care of those fucking nutbags. And what I always thought to myself is that if you can have a nutbag be involved in a religious cult, now this is, I'm talking when I was back in high school, you know, young kid, and when Waco actually happened, and I thought to myself, well, what's going to stop the crazies from becoming FBI agents and ATF agents, right? Because that's just... The nature of the beast. People get uh, emotionally involved with their job, you know. And uh, and everybody likes to think that if it wasn't for them, the whole company would go down. Kind of like there's some YouTubers out there that think if it wasn't for them, the YouTube platform would be no more. <laughs> <coughs> But that's not the case, because there's always somebody that can replace you, and there's always somebody who is better than you, no matter what it is. There's very few people out there that uh, can't be replaced by somebody better, much better than themselves, whatever their profession is, whatever their expertise is. Watch another documentary read about Lance Armstrong, the bicyclist. Won like nine Tour de France's and had all his titles stripped away from him and because of doping. And they said in the documentary, everybody's doping. You know, I had a buddy of mine. He was a uh, bodybuilder back when we were young bucks. And he was a big motherfucker. But he used to get on the stage and do all them fucking poses and shit. You know, he's like one of them guys. And, uh... We used to work out together and shit. And there was a time when I was working out as much as him. And I wasn't gaining anywhere near the weight that he was gaining. And I'm finally like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, and he's like, I'm like, dude, you gotta be juicing. He goes, dude, of course I'm juicing. He's like, I have to. He's like, otherwise I couldn't compete with these other guys. Everybody's fucking juicing, you know? So it's just the nature of the beast. If you think that our sports players and all that aren't fucking doping, especially during times like the off season and this and that, dude, it's their fucking job. You know, when you're like a scientist working in a lab, they'll tell you that, hey, or whatever job, really, a lot of jobs that will tell you, hey, if you get this degree, you'll make another 20 grand a year. 
you know, it's the same thing, you know, I mean, you can't just say, oh, well, just saying, there's always two sides of the story, usually three sides to the story, you know, their side, their side, and somewhere in the middle lies the truth. But this whole Waco, Texas thing got me thinking uh, about a lot of shit because, I mean, I was convinced because the media, you know, all these years I was convinced that, I mean, I always kind of thought, you know, there was there's more to the story, but, you know, for the most part I was convinced that it was just a uh, another nutbag bunch of religious nutbags, you know, which is one of those things that I think, like I said before, steers me away from uh, organized religion, but, uh, yeah, man, it's, uh, it's interesting how these things come out over time and then people act like they're shocked, you know, it's like, uh, you know, Trump was onto something during his campaign and even now at times, I mean, yeah, I know there's a lot of shit he says that it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? But uh, you know, he, he pointed out the fake news, you know, a lot of the shit you see on TV is bullshit, you know, they, the, they want to get, that's why this justice system, I just made a comment on somebody's video yesterday about the legal system in this country, they used to call it the justice system, I'm glad they don't call it the justice system, because there is no justice, there is the legal system. And you don't want to be a part of the legal system, whether it's, you know, for financial benefit or not. You don't really want to become a part of the fucking legal system because it's stressful. You know, I've, I've known people that have gone through lawsuits and, and whatnot. And did they end up financially well off in the end? Sure. Did they end up really fucked up in the end over all the shit that came out and everything else? Yeah. You know, so it's it's, it's a trade-off. But, uh, you know, pretty much everything is bought and paid for in this country by the media. And I know I've been talking about this a little bit more lately. The old man used to say to me, my father used to tell me about uh, Richard Nixon and the things that went on with Nixon. And he said, you know, he always said the media got Nixon thrown out of office. You know, he said that that was just, and he said, and the reason the media got him thrown out of office, because Richard Nixon used to love to tell him to kiss his ass, you know, and they finally got back at him. The media, all that shit's bought and paid for. If today, if the cops came to my house and wanted to kill me today, they would probably call the media and they would set something up so that they could come in here and kill me. And the first thing an officer would say to the press was that, oh yeah, he was barricaded inside with bombs and rockets and grenades and fucking nuclear weapons. And somebody overhears that, like that song, heard it through the grapevine. <laughs> I know the moral of the story of, with that song, but, you know, somebody gets a little piece of information and then people like to gossip, you know. And the next thing you know, people get convicted and killed over shit that was uh, not necessarily, didn't need to be killed or uh, convicted over. Anyway, that's what's on my mind. I wanted to give you guys a little something for today and my uh, celebration two days late for the brand new YouTube policies. So... I make like music for the white, making cocaine for my nice and I'm alone.